inside every living cell there's DNA. In plant and animal cells this DNA is stored inside the nucleus. DNA carries the instructions needed to make cells and instruct them how to operate. If we looked inside the nucleus of a human cell we'd see 46 little packets of DNA. These are called chromosomes. In fact we're actually looking at 23 pairs of chromosomes with a copy of each inherited from each parent. Each chromosome is made up of a chain of genes, with one gene being an instruction to make a particular type of protein. We could model this using a chain of paper clips. In this case, the chain is like a chromosome, with each paper clip representing a single gene. The paper clips are made up of metal, which represents the DNA. We've already seen we have 23 pairs of chromosomes in our cells. We've inherited one copy of each chromosome from each one of our parents. These chromosomes feature the same genes, but sometimes the different copies of the chromosomes have slightly different versions of the gene. These are called alleles. For example, everyone has a gene for eye colour, but there are different alleles for this gene. You might have a version of a gene that makes you have brown eyes, or blue eyes, or green eyes. These colours reflect the different alleles that exist for the gene. For this reason, we shouldn't really talk about a gene causing a particular genetic disease, for example. We should actually talk about an allele that causes the disease. For example, everyone has a gene that causes blood to clot. Most people have the normal healthy allele of this gene, but some people have a damaged version that means their blood does not clot properly. This is the allele of the gene that causes haemophilia. Most often, the two versions we have for a gene are of the same allele. When this is the case, we say that someone is homozygous. Homozygous means that both copies of a gene are the same allele. If someone has different copies, for example one version of a blue eye allele and another copy of a brown eye allele, we say that they're heterozygous. Heterozygous means that the copies of a gene are different alleles. When this happens, you do not end up being a mix of the two. One allele of the gene is dominant and is therefore expressed. In our eye colour example, the brown allele is dominant over the blue allele. So someone who's heterozygous expresses the dominant allele only, and so that person has brown eyes. When we write this down, we use a capital letter to represent an allele that's dominant. The other allele will only be expressed if someone has two copies of it, which would make them homozygous. We call this allele, in our example blue eyes, recessive. Let's imagine a gene with two possible alleles. Sickle cell disease is caused by a recessive allele of a gene. We use a capital D to represent the normal dominant allele and a small d to represent the allele that can cause the disease. As everyone has two copies of each gene, there are three possible combinations of alleles. They could be homozygous dominant, meaning they have two copies of the normal healthy gene, big D, big D, they could be homozygous recessive, meaning they have two copies of the disease-causing allele, so they'd be small d. The alternative is that they're heterozygous, meaning they have one copy of each allele, big D, little d. What we've just done is given the possible genotypes. Genotype means the combination of alleles that someone actually has. The other way of looking at it is to see what a person's physical characteristics are like. In other words, do they have the disease or are they healthy? This is called the phenotype. And in our example, being homozygous for the healthy allele produces the same phenotype as being heterozygous. This is because if you have different alleles of the same gene, only the dominant allele, in our case the healthy allele, is expressed. You need two copies of a recessive allele to express that trait. Usually, children have characteristics that are similar to their parents. This can be explained by looking at how genes are inherited. In sexual reproduction, used by most plants and animals, each parent contributes one copy of each chromosome to the offspring. We can model this using a Punnett square. Let's look at a situation where a brown-eyed father has a child with a blue-eyed mother. As brown is dominant and blue is recessive, we already know the genotype of a mother. She must be homozygous for the blue allele, small b, small b, because that's the only way she can have blue eyes. A father with brown eyes could be homozygous for brown, or he could be heterozygous. Both these genotypes produce the same phenotype. 
In this case, he's heterozygous. We set out the genotypes of the parents outside a 2x2 two two grid like this. When the child is conceived, each parent contributes one of their alleles to the child. We can see that the mother must contribute a blue eye allele, so this is the only allele she carries herself. However, there's a 50% chance that the child will inherit a blue eye allele from the father, and a 50% chance they'll inherit a brown eye allele. When we put these into the Punnett square, we can see there are four possible genotypes, with each box representing a 25% chance. So there's a 50% chance that this combination of parents will produce a child with blue eyes, and a 50% chance they'll have brown eyes. Let's look quickly at another example where both parents are heterozygous. When we set out the alleles in the same way, and then draw them into the grid to show what the offspring could be like, this time we get a slightly different result. There's a 1 in 4 chance that the child would be homozygous dominant, and a 2 in 4 chance they'll be heterozygous. This means there's a 75% chance the child will have brown eyes. That leaves the remaining box showing a 25% chance that the child will be homozygous recessive, as they have inherited the hidden allele from both parents. This child will have blue eyes, despite both parents being brown-eyed. So inheritance can be understood by studying genetics. Genes are found on chromosomes inside the nucleus of cells. An allele is a version of a gene. Each person has two copies of each gene. If the alleles are the same, we say they're homozygous. If the versions are different, we say that they're heterozygous. If an allele is dominant, we use a capital letter to write it down, and you need only one copy of that allele to express the trait. On the other hand, a recessive trait is shown using a lowercase letter, and two copies of that allele are needed to express the trait. Your genotype is the combination of alleles you have. Your phenotype is your physical characteristic. Inheritance is shown using Punnett squares, where we can calculate the probability of an offspring having a specific trait if we know the genotype of the parents.